In this presentation, we are going to cover a background and introduction on the DHIS2 tracker. For the DHIS2 tracker training in the fundamentals level course, we want to give you an overview of the functionality of tracker. We will also show you some live tracker use cases. We will demonstrate how the tracker works from the end user perspective. This includes data entry and analysis in particular. In this fundamentals level course, you will not learn how to customize and set up tracker programs. This is covered in the five days tracker level one academy. You can learn more about this academy on our academy website. So some quick background on Tracker. Traditionally, we've noticed that public health systems have been reporting aggregated data for service provision across their set of health programs. This, however, does not allow for tracing these individuals who are being provided with these health services. There have now been more requests to provide functionality to track these individual cases. As an example, an aggregate report might show you the overall coverage for immunization, but it does not allow you to track which individuals have received their full set of vaccinations. Tracker programs allow you to achieve this. Tracker programs are meant to bridge the gap between existing aggregated data and individual level or anonymous event-based data systems. This can also be extended to track other entities both within and outside of the health system. So while we're traditionally looking at this in terms of tracking people, we can also track, for example, commodities within a health system or some other entity that exists outside of the health system. Note that in this particular course, we will be focusing on examples within the health system. The use of Tracker is possible now as we found that computers and mobile devices are reaching much lower levels of the community than before. At its core, the Tracker module is a transactional system that allows for the recording of individual events. This is separated into Tracker and Event Programs. Let's discuss what this means a little bit more. The functionality for Tracker is provided through the various event and Tracker applications within DHIS2. The Event Capture app, which is by extension linked to what we refer to as an event program, allows users to enter events that occur at a particular time and place. These events are anonymous in nature. So no entity is registered in DHIS2, for example, a person or a commodity. An event can happen at any given time. This is in contrast with routine data, which is captured at a predefined schedule, for example, weekly or monthly. The Tracker Capture app is an advanced version of the event capture application. In Tracker Capture, we can have programs that have multiple events, and it must have a registered entity. So for example, a person or a commodity. If we're dealing with a person, for example, we can find that person every time they come back to receive their health service and track the service that they're receiving. So unlike event capture, registration and searching is a key component of tracker capture. There are some more tracker apps in DHIS2. This includes event reports and event visualizer. These allow you to create different outputs based on tracker data. We also have the Android tracker and event capture applications. These allow you to enter event and tracker data through a mobile device. These applications will be covered in the level one tracker academy. So have a read on the website if you're interested in learning more about these applications. This ends this brief introductory presentation on Tracker. We will discuss the concepts that have been introduced in this presentation in more detail in later sessions.